Hey guys, Somebody's Gun here. Today I went through, watched a bunch of different solo scrims from Jock, Clicks, Dubs, DGen, and Eclipse. We learned a bunch of different things and I compiled those all into a video here for you. So different things like how to get a refresh using crash pads, layer control, finding impacts, um, noticing where congestion is on layers and moving away from that or even visualizing your rotate so a bunch of different tips packed into this short video i'm going to try and get it all to you guys as quickly as possible but also show you a pretty in-depth view and talk about you know how you can implement things like this into your game so make sure to stick around to the end and if you do enjoy the video please like and subscribe to my channel it's greatly appreciated i'm going to dive right into this but let's get to it Here's a quick do and don't of how to use a crash pad. Now, you don't need to jump out of your box and use your crash pad. You can crash pad from within your box. As you see, we don't know how the crash pad pad's gonna land on the ground and it winds up scuffing clicks here. Now here's the proper way to use the crash pad. You can use it in your box, it's gonna break builds, so you don't even need to worry about it. You should be careful when you're placing the, down the second one to see where that's gonna place, but you don't have to jump outside of your box, angle your cone or your ramp in the direction that you wanna go, throw the crash pad down, and then just get going. Another piece that I'm gonna show is to invest in your refreshes. I'm going to have a couple examples of this, but we see Jock goes ahead, builds a full box before he goes and jumps in to try and grab the different materials and loot. That's something you should always try to do when possible because you're going to get some extra materials, you're going to get some extra weapons or shield. Make sure you're investing some materials on the front end and protecting yourself because if you wind up getting sprayed, you're going to have to spend, uh, spend materials anyway that you could have just invested on the front end without taking damage on. I talked about investing in your refreshes and we're gonna see Eclipse I do just that. He gets an elim, but he doesn't just run over to it. He's gonna build almost a full tunnel into it. And because of that, he's able to, to secure almost everything besides the metal. He only had about 100 metal before, so Gets more wood, gets more brick, gets some additional heals and ammo, and it winds up playing out pretty well for him. And if we we're, were going to watch this out, once Zone moves away from this area, he's able to go into this other player's box that's contesting him right now for this loot and go grab the extra metal. So invest in your refreshes because they're going to pay off for you. Make sure that you're spending mats to go get mats. You don't want to be spending mats once you're getting sprayed because then it's too late once you're getting sprayed going for a refresh people are going to start to focus you and then you're going to start to have issues oh my god all right we're going to be watching this late game rotate here from eclipse a but more than anything i want to show you guys where he lands because we'll see him he could easily drop on this player and try and make a play, but no, he's going to slow down, go behind him, not contest, and then go up a layer, ramp off his back so he's going to have a nice clean rotate here, get into zone, and he's going to look for a refresh here. So we see him box the entire box to his right. Then he takes the cone, has this floor as well, and he owns this entire box here to his right. So the only angle he could get shot from is the edits that he makes he owns 100 percent control of this box in this area that he's opening this is a great way to look for refreshes and something i'd recommend you guys get in the habit of doing give yourself control over a larger area make sure you're making the peaks and then we see if he were to make a peak or make an edit play onto that cone next to him he has the right hand peak here so if someone was in this box he does own the preferential peak right the right-handed peak while also only being combated by that one person or multiple people down in that box all right now we're gonna see how dubs uses his patience to get an impact he sees a player to his left but he's patient he waits till this player is now going for loot and then jumps right on him the other player that comes in and tries to pressure dubs is essentially doing the same thing he sees dubs is distracted with a fight and 
unable to properly protect himself. But what are we talking about? Find players that are busy doing other things and then use them for an impact frag or a refresh. They're going to typically be available whether you're healing, someone's trying to grab materials, or they're spraying with their AR. There are opportunities like this during games that you guys can take advantage of. This is just a great heads up awareness play here by Clicks. He's going to realize that this player is now in his fully built box. He has the metal, sneaks this player, makes a nice wow, edit, and hits the shot. It's just good awareness on his part to understand where his builds are placed and then taking advantage of an enemy player sitting against one of one of his walls. All right, so we're going to see clicks here in endgame, not get ahead of himself, try and stay on front side of zone here, but then continuously look around to give himself information on the players, the extra materials, and he winds up getting a refresh. He doesn't go outside of his builds, which gives him more control over fights and allows him to make plays like he just did on that player we saw before. Any one of us could have made that edit and then hit a shotgun shot onto that player as well as you know he does just take shots there's opportunities to take shots and we see he gets a kill onto dubs by just hitting him once with an ar that'll happen um you gotta make sh take shots if you want to get kills and if you don't make them or take them you're not you're obviously not going to get killed so take opportunities when they're given to you and then what we saw there was a good layer control by clicks understanding that you know, if he pushes ahead of front side of zone, he can make plays on the players below him and even look up. This is a really nice play here that I saw from DGen. He was able to scout this out really quickly, notice that his layer was super contested, and then push himself up to another layer. And as we can see, there's really no one on this layer. So he moves from one super congested layer to almost a free layer, which is going to help him rotate much easier now. Here's a perfect example of clicks visualizing his rotate. Instead of just seeing zone pop, trying to figure out, okay, where do I go? Again, he's kind of just walking over to his PC once again. But now he's looking, trying to, to see how he's going to rotate this. Doesn't jump immediately. Get, grabs as much information as possible. And then once he predicts a path or visu visualizes a path, He's going to go ahead and start moving. It's something I, I would recommend at any stage in the game to try and visualize your rotate, gather information before you start moving. My this is just a great heads up awareness play here by Clicks. He's going to realize that this player is now in his fully built box. He has the metal, sneaks this player, makes a nice wow, edit, and hits the shot. It's just good awareness on his part to understand where his builds are placed and then taking advantage of an enemy player sitting against one of his, one of his walls. I'm gonna tune in here with Eclipse A and he's gonna show us how to use your loadout. So he's not really super shambles, tons of heals, but he has fish. So he's gonna slow down in storm. He knows players are right in front of him here. So he's gonna take advantage of it, get refreshes off these players in zone. And he could just out heal them. He knows that he probably has more heals than most of these players. And he uses his loadout accordingly. This is something that I don't see enough players do. When they have floppers and you need to make a play or you need to go for some extra placement, make sure that you're playing to your loadout. Don't just play like you have 500,000 mats or you have no white heals, but you're going to sit in storm, right? So make sure you're understanding where your loadout strengths are what your loadout is built for so that way you can help achieve the most out of each and every game so here's just a short thing jock's going to drop his weapon to reload it we know the charge shotgun takes a while to reload and there's currently a bug in the game where if you drop your weapon regardless of what it is and pick it back up it's now back to full we see there's three shots once again on it and it's a fully reloaded weapon you do need ammo it doesn't take ammo but if you don't have ammo it won't load it in there 
Alright, so this first video is going to be of Jock, and basically the point of this is to not lose your cool. We see him now moving into second zone, and he is absolute shambles as far as materials go. He has two slurp fish, but that's it for heals, and he winds up coming second place this game. So we're going to go ahead, skip ahead, show you where he's at in the next zone, and really the whole point of this is to show you guys not to give up on a game. You know, at any point you can make plays, you can look to farm, find different kinds of materials to get yourself back in the game. So don't just feel like, oh, if you're in a bad point based on where you normally are to give up in this game. So we see him continuing to rotate here in a second. He works towards dead side. Then he's going to be able to get mats along his way. So we see the materials are a little better, not perfect. He winds up taking tags and has absolutely no shield at this time. Does get lucky, gets fourth zone right on top of him here. But again, still shambles. Then he gets a max pull, and a lot of players could easily give up at this point. You could be like, ah, I have, don't have the mats, I have no heals, there's no way I'm making this. Um, and interestingly enough, Jock does a very strange move. It's not exactly the, the way I would have drew this up, but it winds up working out for him. He goes for this drop out here, which is going to give him some shield, but then he loses it while getting sniped. So again could easily just go ahead and give up on this game he doesn't do that he continues to play and we'll see him he uses the launch pad then lands finds more shield and this game is so random you, you will continuously have opportunities like this where there's just free loot on the floor and all you have to do is stay alive long enough in order to take advantage of it so jock does a good job of that here plays patiently and now we're in a much better position at least have some shield, have some movement with the crash pads. And then he has the harpoon if he needs to get a refresh. As well as 400 plus materials. Now, I'm going to stop here. I think you guys get my point. Just continue to play the games out. Play each placement, each movement towards zone like it matters most. Because you never know what's going to happen next in the game. You might as you might be able to walk up on a refresh without even able to fight someone or you might have a drop fall on your head so continue to play don't give up that's the point here well guys i hope you found that helpful i went through watched tons of different games from solo scrims that happened earlier this week did that all on my stream so if you guys want to go check out more than just these highlights here that i'm showing you go ahead check me out at twitch.tv slash somebody's gun um do tons of odd reviews do viewer of odd reviews on wednesdays if you guys want to get involved make sure to join my discord submit a video or vod to get reviewed on stream additionally i do viewing parties for events casting events i'm very active in the community so make sure to check me out on other social media thank you guys for watching i hope you learned something Please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I will see you guys next time. Appreciate the support.